All right, we're back. Here we are in the hidden Nephilim cave. So time to explore. We should have a little bit more XP now, so we should be good to go to go ahead and take on this fortress. Before we do anything else. We already have a crew boat, so we don't need that. We don't need this either. Oh, snap. We definitely have to heal him up real quick. Thanks to your knowledge of cave lore, you notice the many faint scratches on the ground. Someone or something with very sharp claws has been walking up and down this corridor. I didn't mean to do that, but that's all right. Oh, it's a hellhound. I, duh, I thought it was a wolf at first. This is a somewhat gnawed human body. It was probably thrown to the hellhounds as food. Yet another reason to dislike this tribe of Nephilim. Pretty much same dialogue. That on her. This is a Nephilim graveyard. Burial mounts for deceased Nephil warriors ring room. From the size and intricacy of the totem carvings, you can guess that this is where the stronger and more respected deceased ended up. Suddenly, for a moment, an electric feeling fills the room. Your hair stands on end. Nephilim zombies and skeletons cr slowly crawl out of the burial mounts. They slowly shamble towards you. Their shamans must have prepared this special trap for intruders. Great. Okay, well, at least we leveled up.
Fortunately, the skeletons don't hit all that often. Now, remember with an archer, if you're directly next to a enemy, you will not be able to fire your arrow, so you do have to move away if they end up right next to you. So yeah, if you can't fire a missile weapon if you're right next to them, you have to just do that. Okay, well that's a lot of the deceased dead now. Make sure we at least have level to want that. I do want a little bit more of a tanky uh, build right now, even though I'm not going to work on parry, so we're going to do hardiness. Let's do this. This just to spread my archer around a little bit. Make sure it has resistance. One bonus to dexterity. That is very good for her, so we'll put that on her. Put heavy boots on him. contains inedible rations and foul goblin clothing. Nothing of value. Okay. I don't have time to read that text yet. Right. All 
right, so now we get an Iron Spear, which I'll put on Ray Lynn since full weapons is their backup skill, but I definitely do not need it or anything. The, this wheel has a broken, rusty chain wrapped around it. You try to turn the wheel only to find that it's broken. Nobody has used it for anything for a while. When you get close to the portcullis, you see that it has crude writing scratched on the surface. It is in a crude Nephilim dialect. You, you can tell that it is a question, but you aren't sure what it is asking. Okay, well, you can learn this uh, uh, from an NPC if you go a different direction. But you remember the map that you had er very early on that we got? Yeah, it said the word Gath on it, so it's going to be Gath. There is a brief, quiet pause, and then the rusty gate opens. A long, angry squeal echoes down the corridors, and the way ahead is clear. Okay, so it is going to be a minute before we level up again, so... What I am going to do... Is go ahead and leave and make sure my spell energy is recharged before we head on down there. But we pretty much got like the easiest route back in. Of course, there would be a goblin respawn after that. Let's go ahead and have this on just so we have it. But in the meantime, I know this is going to be a really short part. But I want to make sure I have the game saved in places where I need to, like such as this floor. So with that in mind, I'm going to call for this part of Let's Play, but I will see you all very soon with the next.